right, so let's get into the reactions of alcohols here. So we're gonna learn how to make them. So just reviewing very quickly, we've seen SN2 reactions, right? So that's from chapter six. We've seen SN1 reactions. It's also chapter six. Hydration, right? That's a chapter seven reaction. So that one we've already seen. Kind of looking ahead here, we have chapter eight stuff. Hydroxymere creation, demere creation, hydroboration, oxidation, and, uh, and we can make glycols. Glycols are when we have two OH groups. Those are called glycols. Um, now let's look at some new stuff. So that's what I want to spend most of our time talking about here. So hydride addition. So hydride is an H atom with an extra electron and a negative charge. So let's take a look at a reaction here. So what we're gonna see here is a reaction condition that looks like this. So you'll see usually two steps. So some source of H minus, and we'll see on the next page, there's two sources of these things. And then we'll do an acid workup. Now, remember what's gonna react here is our pi bond. And that pi bond has lobes coming in and out of the plane of the page because this atom is sp2 hybridized. So if the hydrogen atom, along with those electrons, comes around here and attaches to that front p lobe, so that hydride comes around here and attacks that carb. Now, if it attacks the front lobe, and the H atom is pointing out at us. And that would make the oxygen, all right, let's put in the other arrow here, be pointing away. Now if the H comes around the back, the oxygen would be up in the front. So in this case, you get two products, because those are new chiral centers. And the last step is just your acid workup here. So that's not something new really to us. So I'll just show it here. So then we would get a mixture of two products. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop drawing out that hydrogen and we'll just draw it out like this. Now, little review, what's the relationship between these two products? If you said that they are enantiomers, you are correct, nicely done. Now, there's two reagents that can be used to do this reduction. Um, sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride. Sometimes we, uh, we abbreviate that LAH. So let's take a look at the two different structures. So NaBH4 over here is composed of sodium ion and BH4, so BH4 is boron connected to one, two, three, four hydrogens, and boron bears a negative charge. Okay, and then I'll just draw a line right here. Let's look at LiAlH4. Well, that's gonna give you lithium, and then you'll have aluminum here with the same 4H atoms, right? So there we have it. Um, and then aluminum would also have a minus charge here. All right, so let's look at something here and, and, and let's make a, a couple statements about these two reagents. So if we look at the periodic table, right? We have boron and aluminum sitting on top of each other, right? And boron has an electronegativity of two. Aluminum has an electronegativity of 1.5. So those two numbers here, these are electronegativities. And we don't have to have those numbers 
handy or anything because we know that the trend in um, electronegativity increases as we go up. So boron is more electronegative then, right? So if it's more electronegative, then it's pulling a bigger dipole here. So there's a bigger dipole getting pulled. All right. So what that does is that puts a bigger delta plus on that hydrogen atom. It's pulling a lot of electron density away. Now, on the other side, aluminum, less electronegative. So I'm just going to try to illustrate that by drawing smaller little dipoles in here. And what that does is that puts a smaller delta plus on that H. All right, so the idea is we have a larger delta plus here and a smaller delta plus there. So a smaller delta plus is a good thing on that atom or on the hydrogen atoms because remember we want to have a source of H minus. So if your H atom has more of a plus charge on it, delta plus, then it's just not as reactive. So there's a difference in selectivity of these things. So the LAH is more reactive. So we could maybe just put that in our notes here too. This is more reactive than NaBH4. So as far as selectivity, NaBH4 reacts with carbonyls of aldehydes and ketones, and LAH reacts with basically everything, okay? And then we'll talk a little bit later about um, rain and nickel here too. All right guys, so let's take a look at the, the next little section here. So let's look at the reaction of an ester or carboxylic acid. And we'll use, um, we'll use LAH here. So let's see if we can fit it all in. All right, so remember an ester is a carbonyl with an oxygen and an R group on it. So what we're going to have here is Al, H, 4 minus, Li plus. All right, so, so again, you're normally going to see that written as LAH. And a lot of textbooks just write that as H minus. And I'll probably be doing that a little bit as we go through the rest of this chapter. But remember that, um, that that H minus has to be carried in by the aluminum atom. So, all right. So arrow wise, we're going to come over here and react right there. And we're going to do this. So what that's going to give us here is an oxygen with a minus charge. There's the new H atom, right? So this H atom right here is this guy. You're going to have an oxygen down here, right, with, a, with that ethyl part to it. So next thing that happens is that the electrons that are around that oxygen kind of have this electron pressure and push back down to reform a carbonyl and then we kick off that guy. So what we're going to get here is right, an O minus right, and then we're going to get our carbonyl group back. Now, because you have a carbonyl group present and we have H minus in the solution, the H minus is going to come over and react again. So we can't stop that reaction at the aldehyde here. So we'll form another one of these guys. All right, so we, we get two of them at the end, right? Because there's this guy over here too, right? Those guys are the same. And then the second step of this reaction is an acid workup. Right, so here we would get two alcohols. And there you would have it.